play in third person a bit. Enjoy some nice shadow effects. This dungeon's actually making me kind of nostalgic because, uh. Yeah, but what? Who? Uh. Anyway. Uh, back in the day, this was the place that really crippled my PC's performance. Yeah, I remember just this room specifically would just drop my FPS like hell. I was like, oh my god, it's because it's. The graphics are so amazing, my PC can't handle it. It's like. Oh, have times changed? Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this place in uh, Fallout 4 New Vegas. Really excited to see what they do with this place. Because you could do a lot with the new tech in the Fallout 4 engine. Okay. Noise complaints. Did maintenance look into the duct work here on level 2 again? I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on it this time, too. Hmm. Another mysterious noise, but this time... ...from when this vault was staffed and lived in by actual vault dwellers. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get got. What does that mean? Heading down again. Also, like, subtly smart design here, level design wise, because this is something I notice mods don't always do. Um, when we come here, like, this is our main area of getting around the vault. Uh, the way down the stairs are not blocked off by a door, and we actually go down the stairs in this cell. If we wanted to go upstairs, we would go through the load door. So this makes it much easier to track uh, which door takes you where in an intuitive sense. This is actually something uh, I did in my mod. I made the spore carriers here carry the items that the spore carriers in Honest Hearts carry because it just made sense. And it was o it was always kind of disappointing in the vanilla game that these guys just have nothing on them. Hello. Nobody. Also, I'm glad these guys are actually, like, staying hidden. Um, uh, for a while, they were kind of busted in my game and were just stuck in their default, like, idle stance. Gotcha! We can take him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Why did he explode? Ball. Ball. Buddy. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hell did Molrak go? Hey, don't run off and fight everything, please. Restore terminal. Hey, the food additive. Status reports. Yields continue, continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is, in fact, sick. On the Larks, the guys down in Pest Control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect. 
on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Quite a number of the staff begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I began to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it was an exceptionally bad taste. Okay, what was that about, uh... Mind-altering, mood-altering effects? Same difference, I suppose. Uh... Hmm. Maybe we pass on the food additive. I'm not sure how I feel about putting that in your food. We got- they, they got plenty of food now. We went to all the merchants. Yeah, that stuff sounds, uh, kind of sketchy. Maybe we won't give them that after all. Oh! Little mantis buddies. What you doing? Oh, I can set you on fire through this window. That's cool. Oh, wait. Can I? Huh. Well, that's an interesting uh, mechanic of flamer weapons. You can shoot them through glass. I was not aware of that. So again, I hardly ever use flamethrowers in this game. Well, where did he go off to now? You're trying to kill the mole rats behind the window, aren't you? And not mole rats, the mantises. I don't think you're going to get very far with that, I'm just saying. Terminal. Nothing. <sighs> Entry 6. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious. At least the ghouls. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research, NC research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data seems to be inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Alright. Security requests. Assistant Mathers went into the cave at 18... that's, uh... 6.46? And still hasn't returned, requesting security escorts. Medical emergency! We need a medical team up here now! Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. When well, I asked him where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help! Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security. Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area. I'm officially in charge of the level and I'm requesting security at once. And then you probably didn't get it and then you turn into a plant zombie. We can take them. No, we can't. Mole rat, they're behind the locked door. Disengage lock. Access denied. Contact administrative clearance. Son of a bitch, bureaucratic bullshit can never escape it. Oh well. Saving. Guess we go down another level. be the unique laser rifle. Gonna have to grab that one over here. Ooh. 
ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Somebody had some kind of infection. <laughs> Why are they exploding? <laughs> uh. I spy with my little eye a glass pitcher. Bowl! Grab that. Welcome back to the Get some tunes. Cave fungus. Or. Entry 8. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. <laughs> I love that little bit of character building right there. Looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into UV spectrometers, testing over contaminants. After numerous attempts, I've found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Is that still hanging around? Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now. The concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may, be, may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. And, and Freeside. And, like, Vegas, right? <sighs> right? You're worried about us, too? Not just, uh... Ooh, a 13 ball. Something's gotta give, something's gotta give, something's gotta give. Overseer's office, huh? Hello. Hello. Hmm. Hmm! There? Hello? No? Okay. Mole rat certainly senses danger. Unlock crew quarters. Unlock data backup. Unlock cavern. Error. Override engage at door site. Son of a bitch. Pay no attention. There was no cut. No, I haven't hard saved in a while, and I'm wor I'm, s I'm scared of my power getting knocked off again. Stairs, lower level. Hello. No. None of that. Ooh, I believe this is where the flamethrower is. Many other useful things. Didn't I need a conductor for something? How sad, a conductor without an orchestra. It still conducts some electricity, at least. <laughs> How whimsical. That deserves a humble chuckle, I think it does. I'll take these. That. Flamer fuel. There's a flamer. 
The very existence of flamethrowers proved that at some point, some person said to himself, I sure would like to set those people on fire over there, but I'm way too far away to get the job done. If only I had something that would throw the flame onto them. Now, of course, it wouldn't end it there, but he mentioned it to his friend. His friend who's good with tools. And so he came by over the next day and was like, Hey, quite a concept you have there. And that's a bit from George Carlin. Right. It's a good bit. I'm glad it's referenced in this game. In that mod, rather. Okay, there wasn't a workbench down here, but I can make the upgrade for this flamethrower now. Hello? Empty syringe bone saw. Jets. Hmm. Can I make doctor's bags? I think so, with some of this stuff. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't feel like reading all that. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, quarters. Hello? Oh. What a shame. Hello? Mind if I do? There's the door key card. Turn that light off, because my god. Aww. Ah, oh, god! It set me on fire, too. Damn it. I love these enemies. They're actually, uh... Oh, shit. I love these little plant things, even though they're very weak. They're a lot weaker than they need to be to be a threat. Honestly, I really want to rebuild Oxmod entirely rather than updating the one I have, but definitely something I would do in an update regardless is, uh buff the enemies in here to make them a little more dangerous, because they are just so easily killed. They just don't have very much health, is the main problem, really. Every single part of them just gets crippled because I'm exploding them. Okay. I don't know if there's a skill bug in here, but with all the flame explosions, it probably got lost if there was. Alright. Titty bear. Okay, well, we have... Hi. Oh, where'd you go? But with the key card, we can simply override that one door lock, I imagine. How the hell do we get out of here? What's that? What is... Goes... Yeah. It's great. Is this a level with the cave? I think so. Hmm. 
Here we are. Open says me. No. Oh, I just realized. Some storytelling happened. Hold on, let me kill these mantises. Uh, that one thing was talking about that one guy holed up with his wife and child with the with the access card. That's who we just killed when we picked up this card. Remember, there was uh, the two big spore carriers and then the little one. I killed child. How sad. Better run. It's great. No. Well, this was frankly unnecessary, but I don't like bugs. Okay, there's a door. Where does this go? Nowhere. Okay. There's another way over here. Just checking all of my options. Here's where Keely is. Or is it? No. No, this is where I thought that other tunnel went, actually. Uh, I... Keep a 20 cartridge filter. Filter. High efficiency particulate air filter used in vault and bunker air recycling systems. I guess I'll take him with me. Okay, nothing else here. Can't catch us, we're too quick. And I have a flamethrower. Species one. A distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908 seems to be performing well. Plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Mantis religiosa. So, like, praying mantis? Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. Insects are voracious, and their camouflage also allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when their food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Species Bleveria mordicana An ithopathogenic fungus, B. mordicana, has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized the host's body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. And then they made a whole game about that. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more of, mo moves amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host's body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Hmm. So why don't we get killed by this? I mean, I am killing them with fire, which is probably helping to some degree, but... I still don't feel particularly... Ooh. I had no idea this was here. 
I just moused over that by complete accident. Okay. I'll take it. Hello? Oh, gotcha. Freeze tag is a lot easier when you have a flamethrower. Uh. Oh. How do we find... Ah! Oh my goodness. Did you see that shadow effect? That was beautiful. We didn't even get to appreciate it because Molrat ran in and... Uh, did some pruning with his axe. Spore plant pods. These seem to only mutate vault dwellers. Hopefully. Hmm. Hard. It's gray. Who's gray? Sorry about setting you on fire, buddy. Oop. Here we go. Here is the way in. Oh, is this the other side of that collapsed tunnel? Maybe? Somebody's cruising for a bruising. Hmm. Well, here's a one way trip. Try not to trip. Tests. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the... Hold on. Let me kill you. The amniote occlusion, uh, is, uh, really making this place seem kind of odd. Not gonna lie. Let's see what it looks like with it off. Hold on. Alright, I have to... I have to do like a very like precisely timed button press because too many of these hot keys kind of share the same thing. Yeah, that's how it should look. That's what ambient occlusion does to the thing. Kind of unfortunate. Also, I just accidentally turned on my radio because my arrow keys are set up to mess with the radio. This is your last rodeo. Hello. You know, this is actually almost kind of like an interesting visual effect. It's just not intentional in the slightest. You know, it's, it's kind of like the world is melting into view, which, uh, if you're doing that on purpose, could actually look very cool. Hello! Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. <sighs> Sorry, I was taking a nice drink of some cool, refreshing water. Angela Williams asked me to find you, as a matter of fact. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little pedant she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. I'd be glad to help. Good. 
Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. <laughs>